Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan B. Butler, author of A Saga on Home Video, the second edition of which can be found on Amazon now as a three-volume publication. This is volume two you're seeing here. It's available in paperback, hardback, and on Kindle. What we're looking at this time is something that if this had been published, say, a year from now, as opposed to at the end of last year, would have been appropriate for volume two, because that was the Disney-era live-action film releases from the live-action uh, debut on home video of The Force Awakens up through the present day, at least the present day as of the time this was published at the end of last year. And as of the end of last year, it was kind of a weird year because we were in sort of a drought, right? 2021 had no new Star Wars home video releases by and large in most regions, especially of the films. Really, there was just that exception, I guess, of The Clone Wars, The Lost Mission, Season 6, finally being released on home video in the UK after years of not. But that was basically it. But recently we saw here on the show that in Europe and in Australia, there are some new releases here for 2022. Unfortunately, not for the United States. There is nothing stateside like these at all, apparently, in the works. So what we are looking at this time is sort of a continuation of our look at those new releases. We have looked at the highest end version available from France. Now we're going to look at all the versions available from the UK. And there's a reason why we only looked at the highest from France and we're looking at the UK here because there is some mirroring of these product lines with one glaring set of exceptions. So recently what we looked at was a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray slash Blu-ray combo pack, so to speak, coming out of France for each trilogy. So basically there were nine disc sets, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray film disc, the regular HD Blu-ray film disc, and the Blu-ray bonus features disc for each film in each trilogy packaged as trilogies. Hence, three times three, nine per box. Um, basically, it was the Skywalker Saga box set split into three separate trilogy-based box sets. It was coming out of France, a nice set of sets that we took a look at. This was our prequel trilogy set. Nice packaging here. The original trilogy set that we looked at as well. And then we also looked at the sequel trilogy set. The downside to these, of course, being that while they do have 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray and Blu-ray bonus disc, again, basically just the Skywalker Saga high-end box set split up, uh, they were all, of course, coming out of France, so someone who is an English language release collector could watch it just fine in English, see subtitles just fine in English, but the packaging itself would, of course, have French on it instead for the most part. The question was, what about some English-speaking regions the most prominent of which a lot of times when it comes to importing new Star Wars releases tends to be the UK. And what we found was that the UK got sort of the rest of what France got that we didn't look at, but not what we did. In France, there was also a set of Blu-ray only trilogy sets. Blu-ray film disc, Blu-ray bonus disc, two discs per film, six disc trilogy sets. There's also a DVD only version, one disc per film, three disc trilogy sets, basically just reissuing discs from 2020 again in these trilogy sets. I did not pick those up from France because I knew I would be getting them from the UK. Why didn't I just get everything from the UK? Why not get these, the 4K slash Blu-ray sets from the UK instead of getting these from France? Because the UK didn't get them at all. For some reason, the highest end version, the 4K slash Blu-ray sets, did not hit the UK at all in this product run. The UK got Blu-ray only, the UK got DVD only. The UK did not get a 4K slash Blu-ray set of any of these trilogies, and it kind of boggles my mind. But, rationale aside, we're gonna take a look at all six of those. The first batch we're gonna look at is essentially this set from 2020, the Blu-ray only set, taken and split into trilogy sets instead. We're also going to look at the DVD sets, which are essentially just this DVD set here, again, split into trilogy sets. So the UK, unlike the US, actually had these versions, these discs packaged together, these levels of discs, whatever you want to call it, in 2020 that we didn't get in the United States. In the US, the only Skywalker Saga box set we got was the big one that was essentially the equivalent of those French ones combined together, plus digital codes. We never got a Blu-ray only version or a DVD only version in the US for Skywalker Saga. And poof, they're back on the shelves, right? Um, what we're looking at here, of course, is three trilogy sets. We will start with the prequel trilogy. 
This is the UK's brand new May 2022 prequel trilogy set. Okay. These all were shipped from uh, Amazon UK. Only one that really has a ding at all is a little bit of a smushed corner here, which kind of bugs me, but whatever. Uh, I'm surprised they made it in that good a condition coming all the way over here. Uh, so what we got is very similar to the French setup here, but of course, since this doesn't have the 4K discs, there's no 4K stuff at the top here or anything. Uh, also note here, no J cards. So let's take a look here. We have that same image we saw here for the prequel trilogy from the French set. We have, again, the Roman numeral and the title here for each film in a row, in this case, in English. Blu-ray symbol down here and rating in the corner because, of course, they have to have the ratings on the packaging. The spine, like the French version for the most part, we have Lucasfilm, product numbers, Star Wars, and then the titles with Roman numeral in front of them, rating, and then Blu-ray symbol there. The top is the titles again. In this case, the bottom includes no information whatsoever. This is the back. This time, of course, it's in English. So we have the legendary Star Wars saga begins in this three film collection. Cast crew information for each film. Stats about the Blu-ray discs, both regular and bonus. Other specifications here, various logos like Dolby Atmos. The rating stuff that's required, the legalese and the UPC down there as well. I would also note here, the stats are printed on the back, not J-Card related, but I think when I said there's no J-Card, that should have made that obvious. But, you know, just in case it wasn't, they are actually printed on the back. This is not a removable sheet or anything. It's not an artwork back, it's just this. This, of course, is a slip cover. You have the edge here of the inner packaging, Lucasfilm, Star Wars, again, titles with the Roman numerals, and then Blu-ray. This isn't going to need to fold out as far because it's not as many discs. Again, interior art similar to the cover here, just no rating, basically. The gunships, again, just like in the French version, and it's just going to fold out like this. It's just going to fold out once to either side, and that's it, because it is only six discs. Like with the French sets, just without the extra flaps, we do have the images underneath where the discs will go that represent each of the three films in that trilogy. The first thing you see when you first open is, again, Anakin on the speeder bike. So you get this as your opposite side here. I actually don't think I showed you the opposite side for the sequel trilogy last time from France, so I'll show you that when I make that comparison here. Disc-wise, you're just looking at essentially the same discs, again, released in 2020 in the UK. We have seen these many a time. So just very quickly, there's Phantom Menace film disc, Phantom Menace bonus features, Attack of the Clones film disc, Attack of the Clones bonus features, Revenge of the Sith film disc, and Revenge of the Sith bonus features. Again, we don't need to go into detail. We've seen those discs plenty of times already. Whether it was Skywalker Saga, uh, the Black Border stuff, the Zabby Steelbooks, there's a lot of those from the UK. So a nice new prequel trilogy set coming out of the UK. Would have been nice if it also had the 4K discs in them, but if all you care about is Blu-ray, then this is an option. It is all region-free stuff, as is typically the case for Disney releases at this point, at least in most of the regions that we cover here on the show. The next, of course, is the original trilogy, again with that color scheme that I believe I said reminded me of a child vomiting after eating too many blueberries and asparagus. Like the art, but not the coloration here, but a similar design with the two different ratings down here in this case, but similar design here. Uh, to the prequel trilogy, just going for blue, kind of blue, um, for the color scheme here. So we'll go like that, I suppose, here. I think I showed you the other one probably upside down. But just kind of same design. Uh, the tagline, Heroes Rise to Free the Galaxy in this Star Wars 3 film collection. So there's our slip cover. There's the side there of the inner case. So the front, very similar art to the inside. Falcon with the Death Star 2 on the back, like we saw from France. Fold it open once, Cloud City Duel. Fold it open the rest of the way. There's all your discs, as before. And again, discs we've seen many times before. But for what it's worth, a New Hope film disc, a New Hope bonus features disc, Empire film disc, Empire bonus features disc, Return of the Jedi film disc, and Return of the Jedi bonus features disc there. As to the packaging, interior, again, no extra flaps, just one that winds up corresponding to each trilogy, but again, same images we saw from France, and the back looks like so.
So, another nice set for the original trilogy, which brings us to the sequel trilogy here. Um, again, we've got a similar top design, empty bottom design, a similar spine design, a similar front design with the ratings down here, and a similar back design. The final three films in the Skywalker Saga together in one collection. This one doesn't say anything about it being the first time, but together in one collection. And of course, all of our stats and everything that we would expect to see. Interior, front, back with the T-70s as we would expect. There's our spine there, again, following a similar design aesthetic. Open it once, Kef Beer Duel, sort of, because he has the helmet. Then there's all the discs on the inside. Interior of the packaging and exterior of the packaging, at least the inner packaging there. And then as far as the actual discs, we have seen these before, uh, but it bears probably noting here. So we have Force Awakens, again, disc from 2020, so reauthored menus. This does have the J.J. Abrams commentary on it because it is essentially a reissue with new menus of the discs that we had in the 3D Collector's Edition. Same thing with the bonus features disc, so this does have those extra featurettes. It is essentially just a, a redone menu on the same content that we saw in the 3D Collector's Edition. Last Jedi film disc. Again, this is the 2020 disc being reissued here, so this does have the score-only audio version that you can watch. And then the bonus disc, which, yes, again, from 2020, so Meet the Porgs is on here. And then Rise of Skywalker only has ever had the one version of their film disc and bonus feature disc. So a nice sequel trilogy set to go with the other ones. So now we have all three, of course, which is nice. Um, but again, just sucks that they didn't get a 4K disc packaged with these in any of their various options. I, I kind of wonder why. That just seems like a weird choice. But then, of course, we also have what you might think of as sort of the lowest rung of the kind of current media that's available out there, which is DVD trilogy sets. Um, and as you can imagine, this drops again the number of discs, as I mentioned before, because there are no bonus feature discs for DVD uh, for these films in their current incarnations from 2020. Um, as in 2020, we are going to find that the DVDs here are not going to be useful to those who are in the United States. This series is primarily aimed at U.S. viewers because that's where I am. That's the main stuff that I collect. Even A Saga on Home Video is a fan's guide to U.S. Star Wars home video releases, despite covering a crap ton of foreign releases in there for comparison as well. Um, when it comes to the Blu-rays, region-free, no harm, no foul, import to your heart's content to watch them. Same thing with the ones from France. For DVD, import if you want to have them in your collection. Don't import them to watch them unless you have some way to watch PAL DVDs because these are PAL DVDs, not NTSC, even though they are region zero. So bear that in mind as you look to whether or not you're gonna actually pick these up. But they're kind of cool that they even exist at all as trilogy sets on just DVD at this point. So we have the prequel trilogy here, a similar design to that other one here. Um, we've got the image titles DVD now, rating. Spine, Lucasfilm product number, Star Wars titles DVD. The back, similar design to the others. The Legendary Star Wars Saga begins in this three-film collection with your stats, UPC, rating, cast crew information. Nice big gap here because there's not that much crap to throw onto the back here. Titles again on the top, blank bottom once again. And yes, it is a slip cover. Same design here, essentially for the front. That same image there on the back as well. Now, you would think, wait a second, so it's three discs, how many flaps is this going to have? It is actually the same number of flaps with Anakin there as the Blu-ray set. It's just that each of the different pieces holds one disc, not two here. Interior, similar design here. Other side here. Uh, again, these are basically, uh, they're thinner and they're taller because they are meant to sort of resemble the size of DVD cases. You can stick them on your DVD shelves. The discs themselves we've seen before. Again, the 2020 Region Zero, but PAL, DVD releases of Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. So is it exciting? Well, it's DVD, so not super exciting, but it's nice to kind of see another DVD set sort of rounding out the different iterations, finding their way to DVD, to a degree, some of them at least. Um, 
And it's just a nice way to have a matching set of trilogy sets for these, of course. So, speaking of which, let's dive into the original trilogy. Brr, goes the baby, who just ate the asparagus and the blueberries. Again, similar setup here. Um, Heroes Rise to Free the Galaxy in this Star Wars 3 film collection. If you hear rattling, please uh, pardon the titles there. Uh, the vent in here, it is rather hot and is trying to blow in some cool air at this point. Same old front and back. I guess I show that spine there again. Yep. Yeah, I like the blue. It's just that the blue here is going along with that nastified yellowish greenish color that gives us a really kind of weird color scheme. Not a favorite. Disc wise, again, we've seen them before. A New Hope, Empire and Jedi. Then finally, the sequel trilogy, similar front design, spine design, back design, same tagline, the final three films in the Skywalker saga together in one collection. As you would expect here. Interior. Other side, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. Kind of cool to have some trilogy sets here, finally, um, so that it kind of can be an, an alternative in terms of how it looks on the shelf and everything to some of those other releases like the Skywalker Saga sets. By the way, this is that thing I said I would show you because I'm pretty sure I didn't show you the back side of the sequel trilogy that is a sequel trilogy set from France that I was talking to you about last time that slipped my mind to I think show you the back of the unfolded interior. And I would note by the way um, I was having a brain fart when I recorded the one about those French releases I kept saying the language of the Netherlands because my brain was not coming up with the word for it because it just says Netherlands actually on the packaging or when you select it on the screen. Uh, that is Dutch. By the way, for some reason, like, my brain went, oh, it's Dutch. And I'm like, no, it's not Dutch. At least I don't think it is. Is it? Hmm. And I just kept saying language of the Netherlands because I needed to record. I'm pretty sure I didn't say Netherlands right just now. It's been one of those days I am tired as all hell. But we're getting these done. So six nice new options for fans who are over there in the UK. Uh, there are similar releases, again, of these in uh, France, plus that higher-end option. There's also versions of some of these in places like Germany and whatnot. Uh, we have one more set of these we are going to be taking a look at in the near future here on the show, and those are the ones coming from Australia. I have all of those on their way to me, though, and it's taking a while. So we will cover those when they have all arrived. I have a feeling, though, it may still be uh, quite a few weeks before that actually happens for all of them coming in different packages to finally show up on my doorstep, but uh, we will take a look at them. Still really sucks the United States is not getting any of our own version of these, but at least we've got the ones we can import. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and may the force be with the home video viewers.